Welcome to the Baseball Scotland post-COVID season vlog. This vlog is a platform to promote baseball in the UK, support player development, and share my passion of the game of baseball with you. So there's gonna be some amazing content. You don't wanna miss it. Hit the subscribe button now. This weekend, we're gonna be playing the first spring training game of the season. So we're gonna play a friendly game against the University of Stirling. It's really important for me to make sure that this week I train both in the gym, on the field, and get ready for the first game of the season. And I take it as seriously as if it was an actual game. So yeah, let's go. First task of the day is to tape my bat. Um, I don't usually tape my bats, but for this year I've decided to try it out and see if it makes any difference. Voila, the pine turns off. All right, so the lizard skin bat wrap comes with the actual wrap to put around the bat and then this finishing tape to put at the top of the bat once you're done. Ends of this tape have a slightly different shape. This one is a bit thicker compared to this one. And this one is the one that is supposed to go on the bottom of your handle, so close to the bat. Um, close, closer to your hands and this one is the one that it's supposed to go at the beginning of the barrel extremely simple to put all these holes on the side they really help you keep a line, a straight line as you go around the bat, so they make it super easy and super accurate and precise. And now the last bit that we're gonna add is the finishing tape. And this should be it, yeah. It's amazing. Perfect. So just for reference, I used the 0.5 millimeters thickness. The reason why I did this is, first of all, because I prefer bats that have a slightly thinner handle so that I feel like I'm having better control of how I'm moving the bat and so on. And second reason is also because in general wooden bats tend to have a handle that is slightly thicker compared to a aluminum bat. So I think that the 0.5 is perfect for wooden bats. I don't know if this grip it's better with batting gloves or without. I'm not sure. This might even be better if you just if you just hold it with your bare hands. Looking forward to try this on the next hitting practice. If you're struggling with holding the bat or you know you just need more grip on the bat, definitely one of your options should be um, to add this grip. You can obviously do other things like wearing batting gloves, put pine tar, anything like this. I used to put pine tar that was probably like my main thing. I was wearing both batting gloves and putting pine tar on the bat. But for a bit, I will be trying to use just the grip and not put any pine tar on the bat and mix it. And I'll let you know how it guys is, but I think that it just makes it easier because you don't have to put the pine tar before every game. You don't have to scrub it off once you're done and keeps the bat a bit more clean as well, so.
up guys? Training just ended. I'm on my way home. Definitely loads of work is still needed, both for hitting and fielding. I didn't think today was the best practice for me, but every practice makes you better. So always keep the hard work up. Morning guys, it's Wednesday, it's the 5th of May, it's my birthday. Yoohoo, my birthday! I even got a gift and it's hailing. This is Scotland on the 5th of May. And we're ready for these protein pancakes. I'm gonna show you my setup again. But some of the ingredients and protein powder. Book, nice, in sight. And then here is our operation, operating station. And the banana is going to substitute the flour so that we can make this pancake some sort of healthier than a regular pancake. So we just added the one scoop of uh, chocolate fudge protein blend. So this will help the pancake have a better taste I hope with the chocolate flavor and definitely have more protein low, lower calories less sugars less fat Let me show you guys the final result. And these are chocolate fudge protein pancakes for my birthday. This is amazing. I'm gonna give you a flavor rating and a calories rating. They're gonna be very different from each other. <laughs> I ended up adding a bit of low calorie yogurt on top, vanilla flavored yogurt. Here is the moment of truth. Rating these chocolate fudge protein pancakes. flavor is amazing. This is a 9 out of 10 flavor wise in my ratings at least but calorie wise it's probably gonna end up being like a 5 out of 10 but it doesn't matter because it's cheat day because it's my birthday. It's 9 30 p.m and I'm going to sleep now because tomorrow we have a long day a game ahead of us and I'm gonna plan and try to wake up at 7 so that I have enough time to get ready eat something prepare my food and then walk to the field. Good morning everyone, finally game day, so the weather is perfect, we're going down to Sterling in a couple hours and I'm just preparing my breakfast. We got some eggs cooking and here we got some baseball games so that we can get inspired for the day and get ready in, in the right mindset to play. Here is the breakfast of champions, we got some sliced ham with eggs and then honey on bread so we got some proteins and fats here and some carbs in there so that we have a balanced breakfast for today all right on the way to the field first game of the season so today we're playing sterling we're driving down to sterling in a few minutes so what's the plan for today well first game of the year try to see as many pitches as possible okay and we need to train the eye need to learn how to recognize strikes and balls. I haven't played for almost two years, so that's gonna be the main concern. So try to see as many pitches as possible. Take the, the ad fats to a long count. So try to get to strikes, try to get to, to not swing at balls and so on. My swings, as I mentioned, it's not the best at the moment. I've done lots of hitting, lots of tea, lots of a bit of soft toss. 
So the plan for today is to have as smooth and nice of a swing as possible. Okay, so what we're trying to do is like just hit line drives at the middle. Every single at bat, the goal is hit a line drive back at the pitcher and hopefully hit it hard enough that it gets past the infield. What I would suggest is like, if you're playing the first games of the year, of the season, of the spring training, whatever you're doing, try to have a plan in your mind. What am I trying to get out of this game today? What am I working on? What am I practicing on? At the end of the day, is there something that I can look back on and uh, use it to evaluate whether or not my day was productive? Okay, so in this case for me is try to get as many pitches and hit every single time a line drive on the middle of the field. If at the end of the day I've done these two things, I'm happy with how I've played. I've played my, my game. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your goal for the first game of the season or what is your goal for the next game you're planning? You know, hitting wise, fielding wise, pitching wise. Okay, no matter what position you play, you should have your own goal. So comment down below and maybe we can discuss them in the next video. It's a great win for the Oilers. Let's go Oilers. So today, great game. Um, we won with a score of 19 to 12. Overall, great performance by the team. Everybody played very well. That's all for today. Let's go Oilers. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new about the game of baseball. If you have any questions, I love interacting with you guys. So either leave a comment down below or text me on my social media. You know where to find me.